Hey everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's speed build will be Flory's beach house as well as her planned supply shop. So after I'd built my land bridge, which by the way I'll link down below, I kind of had this space left over and so what I did is I plopped uh, Flurry's house on the beach and then marked off this spot as kind of a little shop and then I did all the landscaping for the land bridge. Now since this is way more part of that build instead of Flurry's house and I kind of just work with whatever space I was left with, I didn't really include it here so in case you'd like to see the landscaping in the back, I will like I said link the land bridge down below. And then I already had a few items prepared, but I do pick them up all and like place them anew. So uh, no worries, there is nothing you, you might have missed here. And I just made this little um, base for the shop. And then I started kind of putting stuff down. So I knew that I wanted to have a nice backdrop, um, you know, just to kind of frame this entire shop area. And what I had in mind for this uh, planned supply shop were basically just a bunch of shovels. I really saw Flurry with the um, elephant watering cans, which I think actually kind of kickstarted this entire um, build. And so I just plopped down, you know, some shovels. I plopped down some things as kind of a display surface. So like the log bench and the barrel and the little mush stool um, to be able to like display some items later on. And then there were a bunch of shovels and um, later on you'll also see me put down a bunch of those uh, watering cans, which by the way, um, I didn't know this for the longest time, so you might not either, but the shovels and watering cans cans and stuff that you can buy in your nooks, you can actually customize all of them. So each of us only, I think, have one variation of all of the uh, different shovels. So the colorful shovel or the printed one, for example. Um, however, you can customize all of them. And that's how I got all of these cute customizations and the different colors of elephants and the different um, prints on the shovel. So that's a huge, huge tip that I didn't know about for the longest time um, that I kind of discovered during stream. So that really, really helped putting this area together because having a bit of variety really really helped and then I had my backdrop kind of done I was kind of happy with what that looked like and I wanted to kind of also anchor it to the front left of the entire build and so once again I'm kind of figuring out some items that I can use as a surface to display some stuff I used some dropped items as well uh, which I think work really well especially the flower bag and the sapling that you can see in the back I think they're super super cute for this area and kind of transport that plant supply shop kind of feel by the way as you might have been able to tell from the overlay this is also from a stream or from multiple streams actually so excuse any overlays or any changes in lighting sometimes we do decide to uh, do some 5 a.m. decorating which you'll see in a bit um, and also if you'd like to see these in real time I will be linking the streams down below and I will use that moment as a shameless little self promo because I've decided to make a second YouTube channel that is called Sparksby Archive and that will just hold all of my stream uploads so if you're interested in any of the streams um, if you sometimes like to rewatch something or um, you've missed certain parts and stuff like that I will of course link that Sparksby archive channel uh, down below as well as on screen I would very much appreciate a follow over there but yeah I think we built this plant supply ship in one stream and then went back to Flurry's house later on but basically what I was doing here is I was just trying to make it feel kind of full I, I like to say that I'm not really doing clutter core but maybe I am I kind of always try to fill every single empty space spot there is um, and so I also you know plopped some items in that bottom left corner and I always try to work with different heights of items so they kind of complement each other um, sometimes that works a bit better sometimes it really doesn't but um you know I always say it's a process I think I say this in like every video because it is it is um, and it's it's fun and I really I really also like how this area turned out so you know all the struggles are definitely worth it I also planted some um, coconut saplings because th those don't grow on grass, which is awesome. And then I plopped some leaf piles in the middle as well because I felt like that area in the middle was just still a bit too empty. Um, as you will see later, I also actually went back to add a lot of coats off stream. Like I, I liked how this area came out. I liked the composition of items and stuff, but it still kind of felt not really 100% plant core. And so I just kind of went back to add a lot of um, leaf filler coats uh, to the to the planks and also this like mossy version of a path. I only used all the four corners, but I kind of added them to the corners of the wooden planks to make it look more overgrown. And here you can kind of see what I mean by that. So I just added lots and lots of green coats, make it look way more overgrown. And also, as you might've noticed, the lighting changed. So this is when we went to 5 a.m. in the morning. 
I'm now just going back in to add a bunch of codes as kind of a base. Um, I like to do this, so I usually decorate and then at some point go back and take all the stuff down and actually uh, put some leaf codes underneath. I just feel like it oftentimes makes it look more detailed and, and a bit more finished. Like I feel oftentimes that if, if I leave stuff bare, that I feel like it's not 100% done yet. So um, that's kind of what I did here. Figured out some more items for, you know, some nooks and crannies and just kind of uh, work my way around those and um, and then after that I will be moving on to Flurry's house which I kind of skipped for a while because it's on the beach and beaches are a little hard to decorate but I also actually liked how this turned out so uh, once again I guess it was I guess it was worth it I just had some very, very basic ideas for Flurry's house. Um, there were basically two things on my mind. One of them was like cozy and I wanted to maybe include some plushies or stuff like that because I just feel like Flurry is the kind of sweet uh, fluff ball that kind of deserves it. So here you see me adding those bears. And then the number two thing that I had in mind were cakes, cakes and sweet treats because she is a chunky little fluff ball and I do think that she would love it. So um, that's kind of the idea that I had. Also, by the way, this festival like Garland took us about half an hour to play. So if you're interested in that struggle, there will also be another video linked down below if you wanna if you wanna kind of feel the pain for a little bit. And um, then I went back and um, you know made this little like it's not really a picnic, but I kind of put these bears on the on this little rock right here. It's kind of a very small rock, so I, I was very much struggling with this setup. Um, I also decided to add a wobbly sheep because, of course, Flurry is the wobble queen. She is absolutely adorable. I um, first decided to make these bears into like a little circle, like they're talking about something or having a tea party. Um, I later on also decided to do this a bit differently. I then plopped some items down to use later on and assembled them off stream. Don't worry, once again, there's lots of stuff to still do because now it is time to add lots of details. And I really feel like once again, these have been bringing my beaches together so, so, so much. Before it always looks kind of um, like it doesn't fit the plank or thing. You know, like the beaches are such a different color from everything else. They just look very beachy and like all items just kind of seem out of place. But um, incorporating lots of these codes, uh, like the mossy code, I once again did a bit of the circle pathing here. This was kind of a weird spot because I had to fill like one tile in the middle, but I just ended up plopping down a leaf pile and I think that it it turned out okay. Um, I also, as you'll later on see, switched around the bears by the kids' tent to include a little pillow because I thought it would be adorable if Flurry actually sat down with them, which later in that stream actually happened and was super, super cute. So I'm very happy to have made that decision. The little puppy also got a lace rug, as you'll see in a second, um, because of course, of course. And we also decided to put the um, wobbly sheep by the pile of leaves because, you know, um, it's snacking on it. For sure and lots of other filler coats were put down once again like i said i just feel like this really makes an area complete And then I also put down some flowers and some weeds and stuff like that to, um, apart from the leaf coats, also add some more greenery and just kind of work around these tiny fiddler areas that I hadn't really tackled before. Also this little transition area between Flurry's Beach and the overgrown beach um, part that I had below it. And then I also went ahead and decorated this cliff. It's kind of more a part of the land bridge, but I did do this while decorating Flurry's house. So um, I kind of included it here. I just kind of wanted to plop down some more items, create a bit of more height and have, you know, a few different things and, um, you know, add some finishing touches and really make this area come together. 
that's pretty much this speed build Fleur's beach house plus of course her plant supply shop i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to see more of this in the future i will give you a final walkthrough of the finished area and i hope to see you very very soon Thank you.